In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my current quad focus leg day. Since I'm a wellness competitor, I've had to tailor my workout program to fit my physique. Since I have overdeveloped quads in comparison to my glutes and hamstrings, I've only been training quads once every other week. That way that I maintain the muscle that I have, but focus mainly on growing glutes and hamstrings. But today, you get to see a sneak peek on what my quad days typically look like, so strap in, because this workout will get your quads real roasty and toasty. It's 47 degrees and we're training outside today. Yes, you might be asking, why am I wearing shorts? I don't know. Okay, so the last workout that we did together was glutes and hams. So I asked you guys which workout you wanted to see first, if it was quads or functional training. And we're gonna do both, but first, today we're training quads. Excuse me. Little warm up skis. So, you guys know, if you've been watching, that I'm only training quads every other week now because they're too big in comparison to my backside. So, basically, last week I did three gluten hammy days, which were Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Then the next week, I can train quads on Tuesdays, then the rest of the two days are glutes and hams, and we repeat that over so that I'm doing quads every other week, so that I'm hitting the areas I need to grow more, and hitting the area that I don't really need to grow not as often, because genetically, I just grow quads, like they just grow really fast. So if I train them too often, they're gonna continue to get bigger than the backside. So today I'm gonna take you through my quad focus leg day, we're still gonna be hitting like a little bit of glutes and our, ha our hamstrings are still gonna be working during this workout too, but it's mainly quad focus. So first we're gonna start with walking lunges. We're gonna do two sets of 20 steps, only two sets because it's kind of like our warm up a little bit. I'm gonna do a preloaded weight because I just feel like it's easier for me than holding dumbbells and being very wobbly. So two sets, 20 steps total. Rest. I'm gonna rest about 90 seconds. <sighs> Check skis. Sumo squat. Three sets of 12 to 15. I got boogers. Okay. <coughs> Next, we're gonna move to a sumo squat. I've been loving this machine for the sumo squat because for some reason, y'all are gonna hear me sniffling a lot, so just get used to it. It has a lot of resistance. Like when you're at the bottom, there's like a lot of tension here. I, I, can't, under, I can't explain it very well, but like at the bottom of the movement, there's more resistance than at the top. So when you're really pushing up, you could just feel it so much better. So we're gonna do three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Then we're gonna do a drop set after the last set of pulse. Set. You see I'm doing it, we're doing it very slow. We're going to the bottom, pushing out through our knees so that our knees don't cave in. Really slow, we're pausing here for a second. Oh, this hurts. Pushing through our heels up and stop about right here, squeeze. If you just way too quickly, you lose the tension. This keeps the tension on the glutes the entire time. I can't even do it anymore, it hurts so bad. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> and also, 
The only reason I'm continuing to wear this beanie is because my hair looks atrocious underneath it. It's not for fashion, it's not for warmth. Simply, my hair looks like a rat's nest. Let's do this. One thing that helps me too, to kind of find where I want to put my feet is before even getting into the weight, just sitting down and seeing with your feet out, toes pointed out, seeing where you naturally kind of sink in so that when you actually start with the weight, you're not adjusting your feet. So I know right here is pretty good for me. Now my music goes on. Not, not as strong today. I don't like to work out typically this early in the morning because I don't have enough meals in me. I only have about one meal in me. I typically like to have at least three because I always feel a little bit weaker, but that's okay. Some days you're gonna feel it, some days you're not. Ah, you see that skill? <laughs> <laughs> what a tease. <laughs> I'm just, I'm freezing. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, for the last set, we're still gonna continue to do the 12 to 15 reps. Since I was only able to do nine, I dropped the weight back down to the 45s. And then, um, so that I can actually get the solid 12 to 15 reps, um, I'm gonna drop the weight lighter and put two 25s on each side, and then we're gonna do pulses. You'll see. That was a big pulses. As many reps as possible. So we're gonna stay at the bottom of the rep. Right here, and we're just gonna be in this small range of motion right here, boom. As many reps, boom. Let me make sure this is set to short girl height. Honestly, it is. That's perfect. Okay, we're gonna do a super set of leg extensions and sissy squats with the dumbbell. So we're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15 for the leg extension. Um, I'm gonna in try and increase the weight as much as I can each set on the leg extension until I can't do anywhere between 12 and 15. Uh, but for this, I'm gonna keep it the same weight. I'm gonna keep my toe or my heels elevated, toes pointed straight, holding the dumbbell right here. I'm just gonna do as many reps as possible until failure. We're doing that superset three times. With this, heels elevated. Toes facing forward, dumbbell. I didn't do that. Okay, doing math in my head. Girl math. Math is when you order Starbucks from the Starbucks app and you use the money that's on your Starbucks card, basically it's free and you didn't spend any money. Girl math. <sighs> okay, set number two. I did about 15 reps for this weight because I was able to, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna increase it again and see, that might put me around 12 reps. So we're gonna see where that is. Set two. <laughs> I got to meet you. And I'll see you here more often because yeah. I come here and we film more. So, yeah, dude, your house is fucking great. Thank you. This is my 
best friend, videographer, Ian. Oh, he does all my YouTube videos. I have a way to make this even worse. Triple drop set. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep it at the weight that I have here for about 12 to 15. I'm gonna drop the weight probably in half, and then we're gonna do quad catches where we pause and hold it at the top. I'll uh, explain it when we get there for as many reps as we can, then go into this as many reps as we can, then we're done. Okay. Drop the weight in half. Okay. Quad catches, as many reps as possible. Coming up here, and boom. You see how I'm like catching the quad? Like, boom. Whoa. Every time I do those, it's it's crazy. It's not that much different than how I do them regularly, because when I do them regularly, I'm going up and we're pausing at the top. But this one, I'm going up and I'm boom. I'm like going a little bit down, up. Three sets. Eight to 10 reps. We're gonna do our feet lower on the platform. For me, I'm gonna do my toes pointed out because I can feel it in my glute and ham tie-in right here when I'm at the bottom. So I'm at the bottom right here and I hold it, pushing through your heels. I can feel it pushing right here. Of course, this is activating my quads too. But if I can do this and activate my hamstrings, Simultaneously, good. If you want to do a little bit more quad focused, having your feet a little bit lower on the platform, toes forward, would be great. But for me, since I want to activate my quads, but I don't want to overtrain them, I'm just gonna do it a little bit wider, toes pointed out, really getting my knees to my chest and then pushing through my heels so that I can feel my hamstring activating a little bit too. <laughs> Done. Last thing, abductions. Three sets of 20 reps, and then we're gonna do a drop set after the third one, because why not? So I'm gonna see what this feels like for 20. Okay, last one. What we're gonna do, 20 reps of our regular weight that we've been doing, and then we're gonna increase the weight. We're going to lean forward over the machine, put our butt all the way to the edge, and open it like this. And we're gonna just do pulses right in this tiny little range of motion. Then we're gonna drop the weight lighter, go all the way back, and do as many reps as possible Regular styles. Regular styles. Okay, let's go. Okay, increase the weight. Lean forward. Glutes are at the edge of the seat. Pulses. Drop the weight light. Sit all the way back, as many, full range. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below of what kind of workout you wanna see next. 
I'm pretty sure it's gonna be athletic training, but the next couple of videos, we're going to the Olympia, so there's gonna be a ton of good footage that we have for you guys, and some special, super secret people that are gonna be on the YouTube channel. So I love you all so much, and you're more powerful than you think. Bye.